Have you ever wondered why your gaming PC gets so hot and loud during intense gaming sessions? If yes, then this video is just for you. Today, we'll explore the secrets of Case Fan Airflow Systems and how they keep your computer components cool and running smoothly. Imagine your PC as a cozy little house, and the components inside are like people living there. Just like people, these components need fresh air to breathe and stay comfortable. That's where the Case Fan Airflow System comes into play. It's like a powerful air conditioning unit that keeps the house cool and prevents everyone from getting too hot and sweaty. What is airflow and why is it important? Airflow is the movement of air inside your computer case. It's like having a cool breeze flowing through your room on a hot summer day, but for your PC components. Just like you feel uncomfortable in a stuffy room, your components can overheat and underperform without proper airflow. Proper airflow helps keep your components cool, ensuring they run at their best and last longer. Imagine trying to run a marathon on a scorching hot day you quickly become exhausted and unable to perform at your peak. The same goes for your PC components. Without adequate airflow, they'll struggle to function optimally and may even fail prematurely. When components get too hot, they can start to throttle down their performance to prevent damage from overheating. This means your CPU and GPU won't be able to run at their full potential, and you'll experience slower game performance, stuttering, and even crashes. Additionally, excessive heat can cause components to wear out faster, leading to a shorter lifespan for your expensive hardware. Proper airflow helps dissipate heat efficiently, keeping your components within safe temperature ranges and ensuring they last for years to come. Types of Airflow Systems There are three main types of airflow systems in computer cases. 1. Positive Airflow – Air Pressure In a positive airflow system, there are more intake fans than exhaust fans. This means more air is coming into your case than going out. It's like having a bunch of windows open, letting fresh air flow in. The cool air enters the case, passes over your hot components, and then exits through the exhaust fans. The advantage of a positive airflow system is that it helps prevent dust buildup inside your case. With more air flowing in and out, there's a slightly higher pressure inside the case, making it harder for dust to enter through any cracks or openings. However, it's important to maintain a balance. Too much positive pressure can make your fans work harder, leading to increased noise levels and potentially decreased fan lifespan. 2. Negative Airflow this is the opposite of positive airflow. Here, there are more exhaust fans than intake fans, creating a slight vacuum inside the case. It's like having a big fan blowing air out of your room. The benefit of a negative airflow system is that it can be more effective at removing hot air from your case, as the exhaust fans are actively pulling air out. This can be particularly useful if you have high-end components that generate a lot of heat. However, the downside is that negative pressure can draw in more dust and debris from the outside, potentially clogging your components over time. It's also worth noting that if the negative pressure is too high, it can create turbulence and disrupt the smooth flow of air within the case. 3. Neutral Airflow In a neutral airflow system, the number of intake and exhaust fans is almost the same. It's like having a balanced airflow, where the air coming in and going out is roughly equal. Neutral airflow aims to strike a balance between positive and negative pressure, providing adequate cooling while minimizing dust buildup. It's often considered a good middle ground option for many setups. However, achieving a truly neutral airflow can be tricky, as even slight differences in fan configurations or airflow obstructions can tip the balance towards positive or negative pressure. Measuring Airflow CFN and RPM to understand airflow better, we need to know about CFN, cubic feet per minute, and RPM, rotations per minute. CFN measures how much air a fan can move in one minute. The higher the CFM, the more air the fan can move. This is often used to compare the airflow performance of different fans. RPM measures how fast the fan blades are spinning. Generally, higher RPM means higher CFM but the fan blade design also affects airflow. For example, a 120 mm fan from Thermaltake has a maximum CFM of 56, while a 200 mm fan can move up to 129 CFM. But remember, even fans with the same RPM can have different CFMs depending on their blade design. 
choosing the right airflow system. Now that you know the types of airflow systems and how to measure them, it's time to choose the right one for your gaming PC. Generally, a positive airflow system is recommended for most gaming PCs, especially if you live in a hot and humid area. This helps keep your components cool by constantly bringing in fresh air. However, if you have a lot of exhaust fans or live in a dusty environment, a neutral or slightly negative airflow system might work better to prevent dust buildup inside the case. It's also essential to consider the specific components you'll be using and their cooling requirements. High-end GPS and CPS tend to generate a lot of heat, so you may need more powerful fans or even liquid cooling solutions to maintain optimal temperatures. Fan placement and airflow path. In addition to the overall airflow system, the placement and configuration of your fans can significantly impact cooling performance. Here are some tips for optimal fan placement. 1. Front Intake Place your intake fans at the front of the case, ideally using larger fans, like 200 mm, to maximize airflow. Larger fans can move more air while generating less noise than multiple smaller fans. When positioning your front intake fans, make sure they're not obstructed by cables or other components. You want the cool air to flow smoothly over your GPU and other components without any turbulence or interference. 2. Rear Exhaust Install an exhaust fan at the rear of the case to help expel hot air from the CPU and other components. This is typically a 120mm fan, but some cases may support larger sizes. The rear exhaust fan should be positioned directly behind the CPU cooler to help remove the hot air generated by the CPU as efficiently as possible. 3. Top Exhaust Consider adding exhaust fans at the top of the case to remove hot air rising from the GPU and other components. This can be especially useful if you have a powerful GPU that generates a lot of heat. Top exhaust fans can also help create a more direct airflow path if you're using a front-mounted radiator for liquid cooling. 4. Bottom Intake If your case supports it, you can add intake fans at the bottom to provide cool air directly to the GPU. This can be particularly beneficial for high-end graphics cards that run hot. Bottom intake fans can work in tandem with front intake fans to create a more focused airflow path over the GPU, ensuring it receives a steady supply of cool air. 5. Radiator Placement If you're using liquid cooling, position the radiator fans as either intake or exhaust, depending on your overall airflow configuration. For a positive airflow setup, it's generally recommended to mount the radiator at the front of the case as an intake, with the fans pulling cool air in from the outside. This ensures that the radiator receives a constant supply of fresh, cool air, which can then be used to cool the CPU or GPU more effectively. Alternatively, you can mount the radiator at the top or rear of the case as an exhaust. This configuration works well if you have a powerful air cooler for your CPU and want to prioritize cooling for your GPU. The radiator fans will expel the hot air generated by the GPU, while the CPU cooler can draw in cool air from the front intakes. Understanding your case's airflow system is crucial for keeping your gaming PC running at its best. By choosing the right airflow setup, optimizing fan placement, managing cables, maintaining cleanliness, and considering noise levels, you can ensure your components stay cool and quiet and perform at their peak. So, what are you waiting for? Optimize your airflow and enjoy those intense gaming sessions without worrying about overheating or excessive noise. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos on PC building, gaming, and tech.